Hey, and welcome back to a film suggested by one of my wonderful patrons. This time, Lee Norris. Thank you, Lee. And this is a story about alien bugs found on board the ISS space station. The popular press headline is Three Aliens Found on Board the ISS. But it's worth digging a bit further. It turns out that these three novel life forms have been found here on the walls, here in the observation bubble, and even on the ISS dining table. What exactly did they find? Well, to find out, I had to read Frontiers of Microbiology, a bit of a dry journal. And yes, it confirms that three novel bacteria have been found on board the ISS. Now, are they alien? Are they extraterrestrial? No, but kind of. They only exist on board the ISS, but they probably came from our planet, either in the structure of the space station, in something that came up, or most likely from a human astronaut. These novel microbes are described as pink and long. You probably don't want to come across a pink, long thing down a dark alley. But let's be serious. Although these microbes don't exist on Earth, they originally came from Earth. They carefully chose the name novel. But that raises an enormous issue. Us humans are desperate to have alien contact, to find life outside of our planet. We're looking really hard on Mars. The original surveys did geology to prove that water existed on the planet, but the new ones are biolabs. And eventually we will find evidence of past life on Mars. And we'll bring it back to Earth. And that's why I get a bit worried. We've all been terrified by the films in the Alien series. And the original premise of that is the military capture this extraterrestrial, which they might use as a weapon. And one of my personal favorite films is The Andromeda Strain. And that takes place in an underground laboratory called Wildfire. Wildfire was built for the scoop mission in case they found an extraterrestrial bug and needed a sophisticated laboratory to look at it or maybe destroy it. It was a fictional update to this place that really exists. This is NASA Lunar Handling Lab in Houston. But Wildfire was an underground laboratory. And I just wonder if we actually have a real wildfire alien species laboratory where we can analyze what we find. And something we do know, which is potentially terrifying, Mars was habitable. Mars had water, Mars had an atmosphere, and probably Mars had life. So what's gonna happen when we bring home to Earth a dormant Martian bug and put it in the lovely atmosphere of our planet. There's lots of evidence that microbes will burst into life again, or there might be enough of their DNA left for scientists here on Earth to reconstruct them bit by bit and bring them back to life. And what will they do in this oxygen-rich, warm environment? I should imagine they will grow to a large size and eat us all. Well, probably not, but it is a worry. 
So that's just me speculating. So I thought, but actually some of that is true. NASA has this place, Gene Lab, studying life from outer space. So it's really true. And it turns out they're studying in great detail the pink sausage things found on the ISS for potential use for mankind. Do we trust them? Are they going to make a superfood or a better battery for your Tesla car? Or are they going to actually make this that will kill us all? The truth is out there. Where is it?